The circuit attorney's office will also feel the impact of the loss of one of their assistant circuit attorneys. Just 24 hours ago, 32-year-old James Heitman died in a crash on Interstate 270. Heitman prosecuted felony cases such as burglaries and theft, and today two judges spoke to Justina Coronel about his character and the loss that this will be for the community. She joined us in studio with their reaction, Justina. Yeah, Mike and Kelly, so I'm told the loss of James Heitman is significant. Retired Judge Michael Mullen and Judge Timothy Boyer say the SLU Law graduate was a gentle giant who was hardworking, diligent, and professional as a prosecutor. Now, Boyer just saw Heitman on Monday, and he was expecting to see him back today in the courtroom. But everything changed yesterday evening around 515. On I-270 near Interstate 55, four cars were in a crash. According to Missouri State Highway Patrol, Heitman was switching lanes when he didn't see traffic slow down in front of him, causing him to crash into the back of another car. Now, three of the vehicles caught fire after impact. Now, Boyer and Mullen are in shock and said they got to know Heitman pretty well because he was assigned to their courtrooms. Beyond colleagues, they considered him as a friend. He was a delight to have. He was very professional. Everybody liked him. Uh, everybody knew him, and it's, he's going to be really missed. I'm sure not just in my courtroom, but in the circuit attorney's office and in the courthouse in general. But the community loses it too, because he was a prosecutor in that office who really was committed to doing the right thing, doing a good job. And I think the fact that he's not there anymore is going to leave a big hole for the community. And they tell me Heitman was, had a tent twin brother, and he also leaves behind his wife. I'm told the two tied the knot last year. Tragic story. Mm -hmm. All right, Justina, thanks.